romance and love. From The Bachelor to chick flicks to the romance novel, women appear to absolutely devour this topic. With the romance novel being the single most popular literary genre, why are we so obsessed with romance? It's the, the ideal of, of a man... Uh, taking uh, good care of us. Taking very good care of us. Sweeping us off, off our feet. That and Disney, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Disney, Disney characters, the princess. I think a lot of guys are kind of, you know, they want to put on that masculine energy. So you think maybe men also like like ro romance, but they just are sort of conditioned to not admit it? Yeah. It's not real, right? Like, I don't, real relationships aren't manufactured like that, like they are in books, but I think that's the illusion or sort of what you hope that it could be. Stars twinkled through the darkness and Mallory shivered. He knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to put an arm around those slender shoulders and pull her against him. We sat down with local Harlequin romance writer Patricia Johns to find out what makes this style of writing so popular. The happy ending. I think it's the happy ending. You know for sure what you're going to get. You know at the end they're going to get together. They're either they're going to get married, they're going to be in a committed relationship. The guy who is, you know, every woman loves all of a sudden only has eyes for one. <laughs> And it is the fantasy element. It's what we all want to believe. And although this may seem formulaic, Johns, who has a literature degree and has written in many different genres, says romance is by far the most challenging. First of all, you have to work within the, um, the, the structure and the formula, and you have to say something new within a very rigid formula. Also, it has to be emotionally honest. You can't just put your characters into a situation and um, make them react a certain way because you want her to have a hissy fit. You can't do that. It has to be something that's believable. In romance, writing. The guy she meets on page one is the guy she has to believably be together with at the end. And romance readers are demanding. If it's not believable, they will be angry. Looking at some of John's novels, there are some clear archetypes that show up, from the man in uniform to the rugged cowboy. There's the nanny heroine, there's the cop hero, there's the marriage of convenience. And so then I start thinking, okay, who would they be? And if they're in a marriage of convenience, why? He looked down into her eyes, the golden light from the window reflected in But them. with those formulaic hooks, she enjoys creating believable characters with honest emotional arcs. For Shaw TV, I'm Jen McDonald. Are you hungry too, she asked, because I'm just famished. I'm not sure if it's just me. Mike burst out laughing and shook his head. He reached out and opened the door.